this is a topic I didn't really want to get into, but I feel like I kind of need to. It's kind of just been about how I've been feeling about this entire year. And the majority of it, I was was um, proud to say I would be happy to enjoy this year, but I actually can't. It's not anything really related to school. School's been just fine, really. Passed most of my finals, which is a good thing. It's just um, it's just been what's happening outside of school and what's happened to me in my own life. That's so that I don't really want to get into, but I feel like I kind of need to. And I never knew how to like necessarily talk about this topic, but it's something I sadly figured out in October. And, um, man, I hate, and I don't, I can't really say if I do have it or if it's not really, I have it or something. It's just, I feel like I do. And I just, and it explains how I've been feeling the entire time of my own life, I guess, or the majority of it. And I guess it's, um, I guess sadly to say I actually do have depression or I just never feel like I've been necessarily happy in my own life. It's been hard to say if I even really enjoyed a good time once in my life. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I just don't really remember now. And that's what sucks too. I have bad memory on certain things that I feel like that are important. And, um... Especially this year. This year has been, like, the so far the worst year of my own life, I guess. For other people, it must have been, like, a miracle, pleasant. Just, for me, it's just been the worst. And I was, sadly, and thank God I didn't do it yesterday, last night. I almost ended it. Almost did. But not like in like I was almost gonna like take a pill or like or a knife or anything like that. No, like I almost made a decision that day, and I almost did it. But I told myself, "What's the point? What was the purpose? What was the solution? There's no there's no solution to that problem at all. It's just either no, there's no either either. You just you just have to live on with it." There's no choice to whether you can just be happy in your own life and just, it's just things happen for a reason. And I just, just can't say this year has been the best year for me, honestly. This feels like everything is just against me so far. And like, it's so hard to just think about even happy things. It's just like. And that's the thing, it's just like I can't even be in my own house and just think of something fun to do because I'm always in my own house. I mean, not not there's anything wrong with making YouTube videos. It's like YouTube videos is like so far the only thing that's been keeping me around. It's just that's the only thing I find fun in my own life right now. But then I can't show it or I just feel like I can't really bring it out or something. And I don't even know how to just don't know how to like it really express it it just <sighs> like I don't know what to do and like it's just so bothersome that I just feel like nothing helps like sure I can be with my f group of friends and just laugh and all that but then like it doesn't even feel like a real laugh anymore it just feels like it feels like I'm just faking it and I can't, and I can't even smile like how I want to. I don't even feel like I can smile anymore. It just feels like I'm faking a goddamn smile every time. And like, I, I can't even be happy around my own family, and that's the worst part about it. I can't feel happy around my own damn family. I always seclude myself from people because I always feel like I'm just a bother. I just feel like I'm just in the way. I just feel like a damn dust particle in the fucking sky and it just 
And I can't stop thinking like that. I want to get better. I want to do great things. I want to do... I want to be happy again. I want to be myself again. And it's just like, I don't know how to do that anymore. I just don't know how to really fix myself about it. Everything's been feel like a damn obstacle. That's for some reason I just can't really pass. And like so far, high school isn't really the main cause of it. I'm much just surprised. Because usually you would think high school would be the main factor of like depression or some shit or school would be, but no. And it's not really nothing to deal with my parents either. Everything's fine there too. It's just, it's just me of my own. I didn't decide to have depression. I didn't decide how I'd be unhappy and all that. I just, I just couldn't be happy. I just couldn't feel like my own self again. I just didn't know how to be who I used to be as a kid and like actually be happy for once. Because everything feels like a, feels like everything has to be forced. And this is this has nothing to do with like a certain person in my life or someone who has been in my life and decided to just leave it, or want me out of it. It has nothing to do with them. This has this it's just me on my own. Just couldn't control it. And that's kind of one like the reason why I'm always by myself sometimes. Always feel like I'm on my own. I don't see myself as a bad person. I just see myself as a... I don't know. I just don't see myself as a bad guy. I just see myself as like the person who just wants to do what's right. Like I like helping people. I like being there for people when I can. It's just I feel like no one can be there for me. Not like no one's trying. It's just like I feel like no one can be. Sure, I try to look past all that. I try to look, I try to look away from the past. I try to ignore all that stupid stuff that happened <clears throat> out of this year and out of other years and all that. But just this year has just been the worst of it. And I just feel like not enough people really... I feel like not enough people care. Because if anyone, if anyone really thinks about it, when you text someone... And you just want them to reply, or you just, or you're really just interested in having a conversation with them, and they just don't answer, or they just refuse to just check their phone. You just feel like, wow, they really just don't care, or they really just all about themselves, or something like that. Not that everyone does this, just like the people, you know who you are, or you know who they are when they don't answer when you need them to, especially when it's an important question or it's like a question that could be life impending. And then, like, even, like, if this get even if I, like, do, like, even if I get more than a million views on YouTube, I'm not even all about the fame or the fortune and all that stuff. I just want, I just generally just want enough people to pay attention and notice that this is a place to be when you want to be yourself. This is a place to be when you want to be happy, or you want to be sad, mad, disappointed, uplifted proud it doesn't even matter what you want to be on here for me this is the place to come to when you want to be calm because for me that's all i have been wondering if i can just stay calm for once in my life because all of these i have anger issues and like i've always been controlling it all out of the so many years i've been controlling my anger ever since i've been a kid i've always been controlling how i how i answer questions how i see people how i do things. I always try to relax and just calm down and do my best to just control the anger I have in me. And sometimes I just wonder how I'm even and how am I even sane when it comes to stuff like this. It's just like like hell, I almost broke my controller earlier right now. Like I almost broke it too. I was ready to throw it because I saw some stuff, but then like I just told myself, what's the point? Just gotta buy a new controller. It's almost Christmas too. I already got the stuff I really wanted. I already said, I already asked for the stuff I really wanted.
it just sucks sometimes when you just realize you know no one's just gonna give a crap when you need them to. Um, and so far, I don't know if she is going to see this or if she isn't going to see this, but I don't plan on losing her to anything really stupid, anything really dumb. I generally just want to, I mean, I hope she can help me in this path that we still, everyone still lives on. If you say you have no purpose, if you say you have nothing left to do, you're kind of wrong, because there's so many things to do, hell, I mean, I'm doing this, and then there's still so much I can do more, I just wanted to know that I actually care for her a lot, I really do. And this was the last video for 2018. And this is what I have to say 2018. Fuck you.